break it. Tommy D, Tommy D. Wah, wah, wah. Let's get it. I know, I know there's a few guys out there, you know, who, uh, who have some, uh, have some really good say so in the in the 154 division. Some guys like uh, Canelo Alvarez, they feel he's spoon fed his competition and he hasn't fought nobody yet. I happen to think the guy is a hell of a fighter myself. You know. Um, no, I, I agree. I think he's a good fighter. I, I mean, I feel like he is a bit spoon fed, but who isn't? Who? I mean, what superstar you know hasn't been spoon fed? That's just. I guess that's just how it goes. Uh, besides the Marvin Hagler in the in the time, um, you know, I think I definitely feel he's untested. You know, they can't keep feeding him these non-junior middleweights. I have wish that they'd at least give him somebody to my weight class since he's defending my future belt. Like, it's time to step up. The boys got forty-something fight, and they can't keep him away from me too long, especially after this Cotto fight. What about K9? What do you think about K9? I mean, he's he's going to be in a fight coming up pretty soon, and. Um and uh, I think he's been relatively. I mean, I, I, he's fought Issue Pal, he's fought you know uh, Spinks, but uh, you know no no key marquee names that I can think of. He's at the end of his rope. Um, you know, we'll see what happens with him and Berto. Uh, I definitely want that belt too. I've been trying to get K9's belt as well because you know I'm trying to unify this thing. And I feel like if if you're another champion, you have one belt. Your next goal should be to get another belt. And uh, that's not the that's not the same viewpoint of these other champions. But, you know, Canine's a tough guy. He's got heart bigger than his height. And, you know, he's a strong dude, but I think that's it. How about uh, Lara? Ir- Ir- Landy Lara. You know, uh, a lot of people tell me that, you know, he's, he's a slick Cuban fighter. A lot of those guys, you know, emulate each other. So I happen to think he looks like a bigger version of Casa Mayor in a, in a lot of ways. As a fan, Aaron Lanavar is very fun to watch. He's a good fighter. You know, he's a smart fighter, slick fighter. He could throw some good punches and one that I don't personally like the man. His mouth is kind of written a check that I don't know if his ass can catch. I, I feel honestly, you know, all, all animosity, person, personal shit aside, um, if I'm going to claim to be the best, and I am, after I am the best, you know, I'm going to have to go through Rada because I don't think he's going to go anywhere anytime soon. But you never know. You know, all those fights in the amateurs, he could be battle one, but he definitely will be after we're done. I think I think he's inconsistent. You don't ever know which one's going to show up, the one versus Paul Williams or the one in his last performance. Yeah, the one that, that got tapped by Molina. But it's funny he's calling everybody out except for the one that ever beat him. You know, and that's what I think is funny. <laughs> Your DJ has only just begun.